Let me walk you through one of the most shocking real-world examples of a paradox in math called Simpson's Paradox. This case comes from a Florida study in the year 1991, where justice on paper looks fair until you dig deeper and uncover something disturbing. This study looked at death penalty sentences based on the race of the defendant and the race of the victim. Let's look at the total numbers first. There were 160 white defendants in total. Out of these, 19 received the death penalty. That gives a rough death sentence rate of about 12% for white defendants. Now for black defendants, there were 166 in total, and 17 of them received the death penalty, giving a rate of around 10%. So overall, it looks like white defendants were slightly more likely to be sentenced to death. But now, let's break the numbers down by the victim's race. And here comes the real twist. When the victim was white, there were 151 white defendants, out of which 19 got the death sentence, giving a rate of around 13%. In the same group, there were 63 black defendants, and 11 of them were sentenced to death which is around 17%. So, when the victim was white, black defendants were actually more likely to be given the death penalty. Now, let's look at cases where the victim was black. There were only nine white defendants, and none of them received the death penalty. Zero percent. But there were 103 black defendants in that group, and six of them were sentenced to death, which is about 6%. So here's what just happened. In both groups, whether the victim was white or black, black defendants were more likely to receive the death penalty. But when you combine everything and ignore the victim's race, it looks like white defendants were more likely to be punished. That's Simpson's paradox, when the combined data tells a totally different story than the broken-down parts. This effect shows up everywhere in real life, especially when we study things like race, gender, healthcare, crime, or education. Using the graphs, or the headlines, or the numbers, we're told every time that the system is fair. We're shown data that says progress is happening. But beneath those numbers, some groups are suffering more, being ignored, or getting punished harder. And no one sees it, because no one breaks the data down. Simpson's paradox is a reminder that sometimes the numbers that sound fair are actually covering up the injustice we're too distracted to notice.